Okay, so let me try and show you the progress I've been trying to make. Right, the actual general idea is to eventually run on old motor oil without it clogging up. And so, as you can see here, is your standard burn chamber and glow plug. But what I've done is installed another glow plug right in the bottom. So that's where all the, the muck accumulates in the stainless steel mesh that goes around the inside. Now, your normal glow plug, when that comes on, that's on for about two minutes, if that. But the second glow plug I fitted is even more powerful. So what I've done is rather than break into the board circuit and add another um, glow plug, what I've done, I've separated it. And so it, I've just picked up on some spare lives here. And right, this little thing here is a second time, time switch. So what it does, I can adjust anything from two seconds up to 150 seconds, which is plenty of time when you see how what happens. Alright, so right, switch him on. Uh, where are you? I can't see you. Let's have a look around this side. I didn't switch it on. Like I said, I've installed a second glow plug. Let me switch it on here. And you should see pretty quick. There it is, glowing at the bottom there. Nice little furnace coming up. Now that's a little bit. Of, I can actually see all of the. You can even see it from above as well. So, if the older motor oil doesn't light with that, I think you might as well just give up. It should have gone out now. Yes, it has. Right, I've set it on 20 seconds at the moment. Because if imagine if you left it on, it would end up melting the whole thing a bit. And if you were starting your car like a diesel, you wouldn't be sitting there holding the key, rocking it over 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a long time. Okay, let's get the whole board up and running. Okay, so non-glare screen, courtesy of a uh, screen protector with an iPhone 4, but a matte one, so you don't get the glare anymore. Alright, here we go. Let's turn the glare for a minute. Okay, so. You don't see a great deal, believe it or not, from the standard glow plug. So that should be coming in anytime soon, when it feels like it. Come on, where are you? It's, it's actually quite surprising it lights considering how oh there we are yes you can see it let me focus in he is up the top oh, I might have to get closer 
Can you see him? He is glowing. Yeah, it's glowing in the corner. But if you compare it to my one, that's on a recycle switch. So I just recycle it. Yeah, it really doesn't compare. You see, my one is already bursting in the flames. Yeah. That is bright. I can light the candle. <coughs> Because the candle simulates the burn chamber. The good thing about the time switch is because even talking to you now, I forgot to turn it off, that's why it's down, it's not on, it switched itself off. But I can recycle as many times as I want until I get that famous roar to let me know it fired up. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you, on the fan here, I've got a little piece of fill that reflective tape. And that picks up on my red candle. Three and a half thousand. Okay. Three and a half thousand, six, eight, seven volts. Uh, I think the only thing, as you can see, I've got two switches here. Um, I can do some messing around. And that can be that if I boost the hand screen, Via the line, the ECU just has a brain part. It doesn't work it. It knows what's going on here. But if I give 12 volts to the fan, but only switch, not the live, only the earth. If I give it an earth, it's more than happy. And it's And what I thought, because I want to get it running on the gravity. And from what I've read up so far, it seems like 30 inches gives you one PSI pressure. So, let's come back. Why don't we hang back? So if I put the tank up on there, that's about 30 inches away from down there, it's going to give me 1 psi comfort. Sorry, 1 psi gravity. Which is all I need it to do, really. And that's good. Mm -hmm. right. I've got to get that mode. Right. Got seven bolts here. Right, I'm coming down to yeah, the speed of the fan. Now there's one huge advantage through giving 12 volts to the fan if you really wanted to turn your diesel into a space eater. And I only realised it the other day just by you know, it's getting my fan blowing, but I was the idea of the fan blowing so fast was that I wanted to be able to decoach it. And like, like you do with it when you're revving up a two-stroke, you don't start up a two-stroke and let it tick over. It'll just be dead in a week, or not even a week. So the idea of the high fan speed was so I could blow some crap out and maybe some red X through, 
run petrol through it but I hadn't noticed until I saw it on the video the actual magnets on the horse oats I thought were just there for the to count its revolutions but they're not they are the triggers to trigger the pump now you watch when I flip the switch you probably won't be able to hear me for a minute because it's going to go loop loop right here we go all back to normal, no faults and as you can see the RPM when these are when it's running flat out it's 4,000 RPM on number six so it goes up to six and a half and that's I've got to turn down a bit at the moment so that's only that's only giving it 11 volts so it goes from being a five kilowatt heater if you de-restricted it and you was willing to play the diesel you could end up with a flame thrower that's putting out about 10 or 11 kilowatts if it's scary to be around so when I do these I'm going to take the whole board off the whole board's going to be off the workshop wall in the garden and standing there with a fire extinguisher and I'm going to see the size of the flames that come out the exhaust. Um, I don't run the normal exhaust because, let me show you, I don't run the normal exhaust because this is what you get in the packet here. Yeah? I mean, the, the gas flowing of that is proper shit. I mean, every single bend means, oh, let's have a bit more carbon in the chamber. So I do get these nice and steel and solid so they get very very hot I've got one other heater mounted underneath here and they really really do get lovely and hot and that way keep themselves clean as well I mean I've not had any problems since putting these big ball ones on so all you do Sawed down, I don't know, 50 mil, about five or six times. Spread it out. Oh, and don't use these crap things. I mean, these are, I mean, you're just waiting for a fire, putting them on. I mean, especially if you have a motor home, you're driving down the road and the exhaust is hanging up. I mean, that wouldn't, wouldn't hold up my socks. Get these nice big boy stainless steel don't go rusty and really really powerful so you can open up the end through a lot yeah whack a whack a socket down there warm it up with a blow lamp put that round it and you've got a bloody good fit I mean, it's not going to come off um, anything else I want to tell you oh yeah these are nice little tool. It's a flaring tool. So if you've got 22 mil pipe, you can just go like that and make yourself a little flare on the end. Because at some stage I'm going to be running a huge piece of copper pipe straight out my workshop door and out back. And see how I go burning black oil. Alright, let me see if I need to... oh. 
this is from my previous videos so this is my this is this is version one as you can see it's not super tidy I mean each spot weld each spot weld has to be done individually just to make it but as you looking down on it or that way there is no restriction of flow of the outcoming um, so it shouldn't all it's supposed to do which it does do is glow red hot and that's what I hope it does when it's inside the chamber and these little ones in the middle flapping around they should try and keep the chamber clean let's see how we go right, see here what chamber does work but it's saying it's nine and it's certainly not nine out here that's another thing I was going to use as well for priming yeah the old fashioned priming bulb like you used to have on your you really old diesels years ago you just go pop, 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 pop. and it's up there right. okay we've all gone to sleep in there right. that's enough for now